So Rage of the Abyss just came out and this set is absolutely meta breaking. It introduces Moltrami Fulos or Furos or Fulos. Let me know in the comment section how you say that card. I really don't know how to say that card, but that card is absolutely insane in today's metagame. It also introduces cards like Dominus Impulse, which is absolutely crazy. Now this video wouldn't be possible without the help of Game 3 for providing us with today's booster box to open up here on the channel. So I want to give a big shout out to Game 3 for providing this. And I'm also going to be leaving a link to their website in the description below for you guys to check them out. Absolutely insane store. And this wouldn't be possible without that. So with that being said, I'm super excited. Our very first box of Rage of the Abyss and this set again is absolutely meta breaking so let's get right into today's booster box opening i'm gonna be honest i am so excited to be opening this set up i think this set is absolutely insane not only does it have the fulos and the dominus impulse but all the new mimigul cards are in here as well which is really really nice i think those cards are really powerful and then uh, you have the shark cards as well which is i know is a rogue deck that's actually gonna see a little bit of play i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like it's gonna see a little bit of play just because we know that the the deck can put up a lot of neg negates and it also has a lot of playability around a lot of the hand traps in today's format right so being able to play something like sharks is really good again it's going to be more of that tier two kind of deck and then no oh another thing that i completely forgot about and this is kind of funny the azamina cards over here funny that i pulled it because the azamina cards are absolutely insane as well deception is a great card and we're starting off with a primite drill beam this is also a new archetype i think uh this is where you play the normal monsters and a lot of people have been talking about this archetype being uh rather cool just because you can play the prize cards in it now the prize cards the another verse cards has been getting a lot of heat around them recently because people don't really want the normal monsters and i get it i get it trust me the pricing could be a little bit better if we're being 100 honest with you but the fact that uh drake shark that's a good card over here the fact that you have now an archetype that can actually play the cards play the the the, the another verse cards is really cool so again i don't think this archetype is going to be absolutely insane but it is an archetype that i think could be really good in the future so let's get into our next pack over here we have let's see if we can pull a secret rare goblin biker okay i forgot this that that, that, that got support here as well we got the battle wasp support here as well which is really nice mimigul and then the memento support here is really good i'm gonna be honest a lot of the support for the new the archetypes that recently have come out as well as the old ones i guess with battle wasp has been pretty good i'm not gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i mean it doesn't really break like battle wasp for example uh, but you know the support is quite good and then of course oh a primite lordy lord okay that's gonna go with our ultra rare over here so that is our secret rare, our first secret rare of the box it's actually pretty cool i mean the other type is nice okay newbie is a really cool card here as well it's actually a pretty nice um a pretty nice archetype i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna i'm gonna mess around with it i'm probably gonna do a deck profile for it because i think it is quite cool is it again is it meta no that's what this set does i think this set has a really good mix of meta archetypes and then just kind of fun archetypes that you guys can play azamina of course being one of the meta ones oh i forgot the uh, metal morph cards over here are really good as well so uh that does i mean it almost feels like okay correct me if i'm wrong and let me know if you guys feel the same way but it almost feels like a deck building set not in the sense of like this is a deck building set obviously it's not but you have the the water archetype the sharks you have the metal morph archetype over here you have the battle wasp archetype the asmina archetype you have i mean it's a little bit of support each it's not like full decks for each but i think it's really cool because a, a lot of these are not necessarily staples i mean obviously the mole charmy and the impulse but a lot of the cards aren't necessarily staples they're very um oh red eyes black full metal dragon over here for an ultra rare they're not really staples but they're like really archetype specific and they're good too the six sam as well is in here i don't know if i mentioned six sam as well six sam is pretty good uh the fact that they can put up the this or the sheen is, is really early and their combos is really good as well i mean ultimately though the best cards in here are the staples and the two staples is what we're looking for hollow azamina is a really good card here as well the azamina cards are cool because while they're not technically staples you can play them in a lot of decks right because just having access to an omni negate with this i think it's just a single deception that does it right so a single deception getting you to an omni negate is pretty pretty good so i would say the azamina cards although they're not technically staples they are pretty cool the virtue dragon i haven't read this card i haven't seen this card actually but it is quite cool the artwork actually over there it reminds me of um it reminds me of uh, i think is that what it is it reminds me of leviathan dragon but uh yeah i don't know anyways let's move on to the next pack over here rage of the abyss crazy crazy set and again i want to give a big shout out to game three because none of this is possible without them right now i will say mimigo slime that's a pretty good one i will say that uh one thing with this set th this card has so much potential by the way it flopped it's not very good it has so much potential the one thing with this set though i will say is uh that even though or i guess any set even though we pulled the secret rare already it doesn't actually take away our qcr slot so i think the ratios are two secret rares and then potentially a qcr so 
Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can see a QCR, but we do see a Primite Roar over there. Nothing too crazy so far, but I think we're going to start off. So this is the last pack on the right side. We're going to start off slow and then hopefully hit on the end. Okay, we're going to end off hot. You know, you know how it is. You got to warm up. You got to warm up. Splitting uh, Planarian. This is a really interesting artwork on this card, actually. So let's keep going here. We got the Wandering Titan, Mimigo Fork, Time Engine, and Butterfly Fish. Okay, so first half, we have two Ultras and a Secret. Nothing super crazy thus far. However, lots of potential here in the second half. And I actually wonder if these uh, these packs are mappable because I think we hit the Ultra in the first pack on the right side. So if it is, then the Ultra would be here as well. No, nope. well, it's not because that's a super rare. So that's good. That's good to know, actually, because I know there have been times where people map their cases, map their boxes, map their cases, and then they sell the rest of the packs. And I like that Konami's kind of addressing that and not letting that happen now, right? Because obviously you see that it's not the same order. We have an Azamina Mu Reclagio. Reclagio. I don't know how to say these names, man. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to say these names. But it is a really nice ultra rare over here. This card is really cool as well. But again, nothing too crazy just yet. Oh, you know what card I would want? Maybe not in secret rare per se, but in the QCR is Heart of the Blue Eyes. Heart of the Blue Eyes, although obviously Deception, and there's a better cards, right? But Heart of the Blue Eyes is absolutely insane collector's card, I think. So uh, that would be a very, very nice card. Metal Zoa X over here. Heart of the Blue Eyes is a very, very nice card. And it's basically, it's Grandpa's Blue Eyes, right? It's Grandpa's Blue Eyes. Why would we not want a QCR Max Rarity that Blue Eyes? I think that that would be really, really nice. I just feel like there's a secret in this pack. I just feel like there's a secret in this pack. And I feel like it's not in, actually in this pack because it's going to be in the next one. It's going to be in the next one. It's going to be in the next one. Just trust me, guys. It's going to be in the next one. And I feel like... I don't know, Lordy Lord, Lacrima, Lacrima. I feel like it's a Lacrima, and and uh, I'm just gonna say that. I don't know why I feel that way. I just feel like it's gonna be a Lacrima. Oh my God, I just called it. I just called this a Lacrima of the Crimson Tears Secret Rare. Why did I literally the same pack? That's insane. And the reason, you know why the only reason I called that is because of my sneak peek packs. I actually pulled both the Primite card and the Lacrima. In, in the same kit, it was one kit. That's insane. And, and I'm gonna be honest, I feel like there is a little bit of clumping in this set. We do have two secret rares now. I do feel like there's a little bit of clumping in the set. And the reason I say that is because I've seen a ton of boxes that have Impulse also have Furos, Fulos, Fuelos, whatever. So I've noticed that there's a lot of clumping. Now, how much is that really true? I don't know. I can't obviously guarantee that. I can't obviously say that, but I've seen like three boxes that have Impulse also have the Moltres army. So then when I'm seeing my sneak packs where I have the Lordy Lord, which I think comes from a box, funny enough. So the sneak packs come from a box and I pull this card and then I pull this card. I don't know, man. I feel like something's going on. I feel like there might be a little bit of clumping. And you know what? This is how we'll guarantee it. The guy right beside me pulled the giant, is it giant Mingle that's a secret? No. What's the ultra rare one? I forget what the ultra rare one. The the Ixies monster. If we pull the ultra rare Ixies monster, I, I feel like Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. Proved this wrong. Centurion Chimera over here. Very, very good card for the archetype. I really like this ultra. It's a very nice ultra. It also comes as QCR, which is really nice as well. So, in theory, we have our four ultra rares and we have our two secret rares over here. Is there going to be anything else in the box? We have four more packs to open up here. Now, again, it doesn't take away a slot for a QCR. There is still a chance at a QCR. However, we didn't hit it just yet. So coming song Morganite. Uh, that's that's the time time Morganite. Like that's a re not a retrain, but like the archetypal card, I guess. I haven't read that one honestly, but people aren't really talking about it, so I don't think it's that great. What are the odds? Also, forget a Q. Well, there could be a QCR, which no, it's not a QCR. I thought it was a QCR for a second. What are the odds we get a secret rare, a three or third secret rare in this box? Unlikely, to be honest with you. But I called the Lacrima. That's actually kind of cool that I called the Lacrima. I literally just said we're gonna get a Lacrima, and in that same pack we pulled the Lacrima, and that was just. I don't know, that, that was just funny. Rescue Hedgehog over here as a super rare. Again, it's unlikely that we hit anything, but this is our very last pack over here. Very excited, but again, I wanna give a big shout out to Game 3 for making this possible because I would not be able to open this box and have this for you guys without Game 3's help. We have a Metal Illusionist as our last super rare of the box. So that is it, guys, but I'm gonna be honest with you, that wasn't a too bad of a box. Like, I mean, Lacrima is a pretty good card. This card's a staple in all of the Fiendsmith engines now. 
And I know it's a one-off, but it's still a really good card. The Primite cards are here are good. The Centurion, of course, is always going to be good here as well as Amina. So I'm actually not too mad. And the Red Eyes Black Full Metal is actually really cool. I think this is a really nice retrain of, uh, of the card. Is it just Red Eyes Black Metal, right? I think that's what it is. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. This was such a fun opening. And this set is absolutely insane. In today's metagame, it changes the meta completely. The fact that it introduces Max C pretty much back into the format. And then you have cards like Dominus Impulse, which are absolutely insane, is just crazy how crazy this set is i think the set is getting bought out everywhere everywhere i look people are already buying them out i went to game three today and they already sold a bunch of boxes so this set is crazy if you guys can get your hands on it i would recommend you do but again big shout out to game three this wouldn't be possible without them a link will be at the top of the description if you guys want to check them out i appreciate every single one of you thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out oh wait 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 make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy we do a lot of content just like this one the product openings deck profiles all that good stuff right here on the channel I appreciate you guys a lot with that snake I don't know. Peace.